This video shows the procedure to be used when installing both System 100 and System 25 molded transition parts with Slash 86 adhesive. You must adhere to local codes and regulations relating to safe working practices. Degrease the cable jacket on all branches using a solvent wipe. Abrade the cable jacket on all branches thoroughly with a 100 grit emery cloth. Remove loose particles from the abraded areas using a dry tissue. This cable preparation is very important in ensuring a strong bond to the moulded part. Position moulded transition part centrally onto cable form. Use a CV1981 heat gun and PR26 reflector set at 230 to 250 degrees C. When recovering, the heat must be applied evenly around the moulded transition part. Heat uniformly, starting from the centre, moving outwards towards each breakout in turn. Continue heating along the moulded part, recovering one end at a time. For slash 86, after the part has been fully recovered, Apply 120 seconds of post heat evenly around the moulded part at the cable end. Take care not to scorch the moulded part. Continue to heat uniformly, starting from the center, moving outwards towards each breakout in turn. Ensure the part is fully recovered onto the cable. For slash 86, after the part has been fully recovered onto the cable, apply 120 seconds of post heat evenly around the moulded part at the cable ends. Take care not to scorch the moulded part. It may be necessary to reheat the area between outlets until the required shape has been fully formed. For best results, the molded part should be installed as a continuous operation.
allow to stand for two hours before any aggressive handling. The termination should be subjected to a flex test of 90 degrees in each of four planes around a mandrel with a diameter equal to six times the cable diameter. There should be no separation between the molded part and cable jacket at the adhesive bond line.